Hey there, I'm Megan from Two Feet First, and today we're gonna to talk about painting kitchen cabinets. I told you in the beginning of this video that I would be talking about painting kitchen cabinets, but I wanted to jump in here and explain in a little more detail about painting my kitchen cabinets. When we first moved into our home, I updated our kitchen cabinets without replacing them by adding trim to the fronts of the doors. I have a full video tutorial of that process and I will link to it in the description below. And because I did update the doors of the cabinets, I did have to paint the cabinets and I ended up sanding the doors to prep for paint. Fast forward about five years and we removed a wall between our kitchen and living room to give us an open floor plan. By removing the wall, we were able to move our dining room table from the kitchen, which allowed us to build more cabinets, which meant I needed to paint the cabinets again. But this time I wanted to try something new. I decided to paint the cabinets without sanding. So this tutorial is how to paint kitchen cabinets without sanding. And yes, it is possible to paint cabinets without sanding, but it's all in the prep work to give you a professional finish. Let's get into it. I started by removing all the cabinet doors from the kitchen. I then cleaned the cabinet and doors with a no rinse pre-paint cleaner TSP substitute. This cleaner prepares the surface prior to painting to improve paint adhesion. You should have noticed that I am slightly sanding some areas of the door with 220 grit sandpaper wherever any hardware was to give me a smooth finish. After I used a kitchen sponge to clean the surface of the door with the cleaner. I did go over the door with a dry rag to help remove any dirt my sponge left. Now this might be overkill after using the cleaner, but I wanted to make sure the cabinets were fully prepared for paint. So after cleaning the cabinets, I wiped liquid sandpaper onto the cabinets, which is a degreaser and deglosser. After allowing the liquid sandpaper a couple hours to dry, I was ready for paint and primer. For this paint job, I am using Bare Urethane All Kid in Satin and Zinzer Bowls Eye 123 Primer. I started by applying primer to all the cabinet doors with my paint sprayer. I am only showing the process of applying primer once, but I did apply two coats of primer to both the front and back of the doors. Also, I placed the doors on top of plastic cups to paint them, but one day I would like to try hanging the doors up to paint, like the video linked in the description below. During the dry time, I used a paintbrush and roller to prime the kitchen cabinet boxes. I first cut in around the edges with a two inch angled paintbrush, Then I used a foam roller to prime the larger areas. Again, I applied two coats of primer to the cabinet boxes. on painting the bases of my cabinet. So I'm matching what I already have. And when I painted those cabinets the first time, I thought I wanted a dark cabinet base, but come to find out after putting on a dark one, uh, color, I tried Iron Mountain by Bear. Uh, it was way too dark for what I wanted. So I ended up adding some white to it to give me the color I wanted. I took in a sample piece. So here is the color that I'm talking about. 
and the hardware store couldn't match it exactly. Like here's their attempts and it's not what I want. So I know that I could take it into a different paint company and they would be able to match it, but it takes a couple days. So I don't have time for that. So I am just gonna be mixing my paint again. So to mix this paint, I have a container that has measurements on it. And then I have a big, this is two gallon bucket that I'm going to be pouring the paint into and stirring it all in there because when you color paint, if you're doing more than a gallon, you should actually put it all in one bucket and stir it all up so it's all consistent. So I'm gonna be making that in this guy for uh, my cabinets because I should only need two gallons. So let's cross our fingers so that's enough. And so here we go with mixing our paint. I know I said this was a tutorial without sanding, but you will want to sand the prime doors slightly to remove any bumps from the primer. This will give you a professional looking finish when you're done. I am using 220 grit sandpaper to make the doors smooth. After sanding, I took a dry cloth to wipe away any dust or particles from the door. Now, let me share how I set up my paint sprayer for a, the second coat of paint. So I'm gonna get my paint all hooked up to my machine now. Um, to not clean this every single time, I put the nozzle, the gun, in a bucket of water, and then I just dry it off when I'm ready to paint. I don't let it sit for more than a couple, more than a day actually, um, before I use it. If it's gonna be longer than that, I will clean out my gun. And then, now I'm just gonna hook it up. And now I'll put my mask on and I'll do some painting. After allowing the paint to fully cure, I reinstalled the doors and I was left with this. Thanks for joining me for today's project. Be sure to click that thumbs up button if you like this video and if you want to check out some more projects before you leave, there is a playlist queued up to the side that I think you'll love. If you're not subscribed already, I would love to have you as part of this community, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell to get notified of my future videos. And I will be back next week with another project. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time.